When you think of bed bugs, you naturally think of beds, clothing, or furniture. But tonight, CBS 4's Gary Nelson turns a whole new chapter in the story of the bed bug. Hi, good afternoon. Come on in. We're ready. Open for business. The Oakland Park Library opened for business Tuesday after being closed for five days. You expect to find book worms in libraries, but not this. Bed bugs, blood suckers with faces only a mother could love. We had one patron in the computer area come tell us that he was itching as he sat in the chair over there. And a city inspector found bed bugs in the library chairs upholstery. How'd they get there? Bed bugs typically are brought in with people. They're hitchhikers. Uh, they'll get on furniture, they'll get on people. And someone brought them on their clothes or in a book bag or a book to the library. It was immediately shut down for treatment. Signs on the door warning danger, peligro, deadly poison. Bed bugs typically are treated with spray, but in the case of the library, no page was left unturned. AAA pest control tented the library like this and pumped it full of gas that left nothing alive. For good measure, the upholstered chairs were replaced. But might someone recently have checked out more than a book? John Salmo's a regular in the stacks. Are you concerned you may have taken bed no, bugs? No, huh? Don't bother me. I know how to get rid of them. Actually, it can be tough getting rid of these noxious nits, even finding them. There are bed bug bloodhounds, sometimes employed to sniff them out. The hope is the little buggers didn't leave the library, an unprecedented infestation. This is it, and I've been a librarian my entire adult life, and this is the, the one, and I hope only. <laughs> So, the lesson in this story is sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite, and if they do, call a reputable exterminator right away. Uh, these little suckers can spread in a hurry. In Oakland Park, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.